Hello, my name is Landon Nelson, and today um, I'm showing the presentation for our Cardboard Canoe 2022 competition. Our team is the Goofy Goobers, and our canoe is the HMS Ratliff. It's consisted of Maddie, Zimmy, Eric, and myself. The scope of our project and the purpose behind it is to replicate what engineers will be doing in the work field. So we're given a specific time whether to have results and to have our project done. We're given a specific solution with specifications and codes that we have to meet, whether that's the dimensions or whether that's a certain cardboard or tape we can use. And what the project has provided or taught us, the outcomes and the skills that we have developed from this is to work as a team, to delegate parts, to set dates and times to be able to complete certain parts of the project and to, co to come together and provide the results of all the design, all the construction, and all of the construction management that comes with this project. The outline for this video is first we will be going through the problem statement, and that will be the goals, objectives, issues, and any other considerations based on the problem. The technical content is a logical and coherent story based on the data from the lab report, the design, and the construction of the canoe. And the last is the key takeaways, the main things that you can take away from what we have learned, the construction, and how we have solved our problem. Hello, my name is Yami Omiso, majoring in civil engineering, and I'll be going over the problem statement, goals, objective, and issue. Uh, we begin working on determining the basic dimension of our economy by pre-cutting a uh, uh, core board into uh, an atypical pieces. Uh, what size of the core board will be necessary in order for three people to go across the lake? We use specific uh, design process to solve uh, identified problems. And first, it was important for the design part to define the problem accurately and clearly. In other words, to identify the problem statement, which will be our reserve. The design generate the designer generate ideas for alternative before sketching them out in a root uh, form. Guideline specification uh, materials and order factor were developed, and the design and uh, the designer in order to define and identify problems. The designer chose the solution based on the specification, information, and research, uh, and so on. Hello, my name is Eric Schneider, and I'm a civil engineering major. Getting into this project during the planning phase, we were able to source multiple different kinds of cardboard. So this presented a challenge for us in the testing to figure out which kinds of cardboard could be incorporated in what parts of our canoe. So to start with, we found a pretty pretty standard kind of cardboard. We've got a half inch uh, heavy corrugated, and then lastly, a seven eighths inch multiple corrugated. And so here you can see some testing that we've done with, uh, we cut coupons of the cardboard to equal widths and lengths and uh, just start put them across a span and start putting weight in the middle. And we did this with all our different kinds we used. And we also did it when we soaked them in, a, in water for a minute. And you can see that the uh, water soaked strength went down drastically for all of them, except the seven eighths inch performed the best. So. On our design, we went with a John Boat style design for stability and just simplicity of building it. So for our design, the bulk of the boat was built with the 7 8 inch. So that would be the bottom, the sides, the ribs, all that. And then we used the smaller stuff for a skin to go around just for not really strength, just to keep more water out. And then we used our half inch heavy corrugated just as a more reinforcement on the floor. So, and here's our, here's our design for the John boat. We got the drawings here and our model, so. Hi, I'm Nadia Vagina. 
Um, I'm a civil engineering major and I'm going to be going over the conclusion for our presentation. Um, basically, there were so many things that we took into consideration with starting this project and really going throughout the project. Um, some of the skills that we've developed were creativity um, through designing the canoe, um, adaptability um, when things didn't go as planned, um, and one of the main things that we've taken away from this project is communication and collaboration skills. Um, really just throughout the whole project, dealing with design problems, um, and the lab report, the, uh, delegating out work, um, and the thing that really has kept us going is sticking to our schedule, delegating the work so it's not too much for one person, and that's really what's pushing us to succeed.